Children belonging to tribal communities have to go through hunger, poverty, illiteracy and ignorance. The grueling experience of their childhood is spent on working as child laborers. Lack of education is the sole reason why the tribals are not developing. Students from social work field who are placed in such NGOs always cling to do something to emancipate the underprivileged. They extensively work towards spreading awareness about education among the tribals. Their philanthropic spirit leads to transform the tribal mindset and triggers them to join the mainstream society. They make an effort to prepare underprivileged children and youth as change agents for their community, also preserving tribal heritage, culture and values. They work towards economic and social emancipation of the tribals. They are doing their bit to change the lives of the poor tribal children. The course curriculum provided to tribal students here is unique for it incorporates visualization and oral learning with written education as well. Visualization as a form of learning is designed to help students to stay in touch with their roots, culture and tradition. Tribal children have no means to go to school. The difficult conditions make these children to struggle and work as child laborers. Social work is an integral part of uh, academic curriculum here. In our teaching institute, where the students are placed in uh, NGOs and other institutions where they carry out activities related to social work, which ultimately contributes to community development. A child without education is like a bird without wings. So let's come together and spread awareness towards educating tribal children. Research and Publication Center is a voluntary organization uh, working in the field of documentation of tribal art, culture, languages in Gujarat, in India, as well as throughout the world. Bhasa established in 1996 and the name came with the languages of indigenous community.
blessed and inspired by the place. I do a lot of work myself on Indigenous knowledge and Indigenous people. And what I find they've created here is a place that values the languages, the culture, the arts, the music, the dance. And it's very inspiring that it's here and it's related to the development programs people are doing in communities. There are more than 1200 languages in India, but in our constitution only 22 languages are notified by government. Bhasha works for the empowerment of tribal communities and preservation of their language, art, culture and also do initiatives for their development work in tribal areas. Bhasha is also taking care of many other development issues like microfinance, food security, agriculture, women empowerment and Bhasa has set up a model of development called Green Economic Zone in the tribal areas of Eastern Belt of Gujarat. Bhasa's main achievements are our founding trustees, uh, Professor Ganesh Devi recently felicitated by Padma Shri Award by Government of India. Bhasa is recognized as a center of excellence by Ministry of Tribal Affairs, Government of India. Uh, Bhasa is recognized by UNESCO for, for preservation of intangible heritage and uh, many universities and uh, many funding agencies are doing collaboration with Bhasha.